Hey guys, my name's Fog, um, and this is going to be an out of bounds tutorial uh, for Portal. Now, the, these should be the most up to date routes uh, for the fastest speedruns possible in Portal, as far as I know, at least. Uh, if you haven't watched an inbounds tutorial, I will link one in the description below, but and I would highly suggest you. Uh, watch that one first before watching this. It gives a lot of tips in the, uh, most of the tricks that would be used. There are some tricks that aren't used that are uh, in inbounds that are used in out of bounds. So uh, let's start off with uh, chamber two. So the first thing you gotta do is obviously you gotta grab the portal. With the portal, it allows you to go out of bounds. That was a fail of an ABH, but that's okay. Now, here comes the first important glitch. It's called the save glitch. If you're standing on an edge of a portal, and then you save and load on the edge of the portal, uh, it will cause the game to go a bit weird, is the, pretty much the best way I can explain it. Uh, so if I do that, I have a bind set to that, so if I press that bind, it, lo it saves and unloads it really quickly. I can then, or you can see that it's working where if you're looking at a spot and you th this, that should be portable, but is not. So you can just shoot like there, for example, and the portal ends up there. It's the reason this is is because when you're when you do that glitch, it makes it so that your your wherever you shoot comes from that area of the portal, even though your camera is over here. Anyways, now with that portal being there, you can actually move through this wall, and you're now out of bounds. Now what you have to do here is you have to shoot a portal in this area and walk into the portal right away while holding W. So once you do when you do that you actually get back inside the level and you'll have the blue portal out of bounds which will allow you to do the next step in this uh, chamber. Let's do that properly. And there we go. Now I'm inbounds again with my blue portal being out of bounds and my orange portal being inbounds. So now uh, what you want to do here is you want to line your your crosshair up with the uh, metal uh, column here, and then you want to go as high as possible without uh, while having the blue portal active on your crosshair, and then move over slightly to the right. So I'll shoot one portal here, and you have to move back inbounds through the orange portal and now your portal is face is underneath uh, the little segment or the the ground inside the next chamber so now we're going to do another step called a portal destruction re-entry uh, what this is there's a series or basically it's a series of different methods of destroying a portal and going back into the portal or and having the game push you back in bounds when you destroy a portal so that's not what I wanted to do so I gotta redo you can actually see how but you can you can see though that's where the uh, the portal is actually on the others is on the underside of the uh, little gap here of the stairs so let's go back to uh, yeah, let's go back to the save glitch section. Let's get the cell set up again. Alright, so let's now let me do a quick save here. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. The first way is uh, you shoot, you have your go, you start moving towards the left. And then when you're about halfway through this portal, you shoot a portal right there. Or anywhere that is portable. And then you will get yourself uh, back inbounds on chamber 5. 
So let's see if I get it properly the first time. Oh, and there we go. The portal was underneath here. With that glitch, it pushes me back inbounds. So now I can just shoot a portal here. And then do a peek a portal. To finish the level. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter's... Now, this, another way of doing this is you shoot f a portal farther away, and then you start moving backwards. So, so it should be something like this. Well, that was too slow. So you start moving for backwards as you shoot. And like that. You speak a portal again, and well that's Remember, essentially the level. Now, I'm not going to bother waiting for all this low time stuff, so... I have each and every single level that involves out of bounds and in bounds on a separate uh, well save. Okay, You're so now this part well. here is there's a pretty precise setup. Uh, so what I do is I like to have myself crouch a little bit and make myself that the crosshair is even with this line. I stand up and then I look up and, I, and you see these two little dots here, right? Or those little indents in the in the wall? I like to line up my crosshair with that. Now this is really, really precise. So I have a bind that ch when I hold down my mouse 5 button, it changes my sensitivity to 0.25. And when I unpress it, it makes it 3. My, which is my default sensitivity. So you gotta look for a seam here. And I'm telling you, this is really precise, that's why. And once you find the seam, you'll see that the portal will go out of bounds through that seam. And all you have to do is walk in and out of this portal. If it's done properly, it should uh, trigger the next, the load level, and then you can just fall through the portal after it switches. Now, I kind of, for some reason, didn't work properly, so I gotta do it again. So let's do the let's do the setup in real time. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. As you can see, it does take a bit of practice. And once there you go, you just walk in and out, and that's, you're done chamber 4 and you're done chamber 5. So now I'm gonna go and just load chamber 6. While, while I'm doing this tutorial, I'm not gonna be doing the inbounds level, that's why I would recommend you watch the inbounds level for, or the video first. Alright, so now this is chamber 6. Um, the first thing you want to do here is you want to shoot a portal and actually solve the puzzle as intended. However, you're not going to be going up that ramp or anything like that. Instead, you're going to be doing a quantum crouch. To do a quantum crouch, you hold crouch, and then you let go of crouch, and then quickly press it again before you fully go standing up. When you do that, you'll realize that your camera is stuck, but you're still crouching. If you do it too late, this is what happens. It just crouches you again. So you have to do, you have to be uh, a bit quick with it. You can even get it like practically you're fully standing up. So once you have that, you want to shoot a portal up, up on top of there, right in front where you entered into the elevator. And then what you want to do, uh, actually let me just do a quick save here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to fall through the portal and as you're falling through this portal, shoot another portal underneath you. And then once you come back up through the orange portal, you want to turn yourself around uh, 90 degrees, or 180 degrees, sorry. And then once you go up through the Blue, once you go through the orange portal at the time, uh, or once you go out through that blue portal that's over there, uh, you're you're going to be able to have your head poke out of bounds, and you want to shoot a portal 
on the wall that's there. So I will try and demonstrate you this in one try. I'm still not a bit too consistent at this. And let's give it a shot. Oh, got a first try. Nice. So now, you'll be out of bounds. This is where you want to shoot your portal. You'll be out of bounds now, and you'll have to do a fizzler, portal fizzler re-entry. Or a portal destruction re-entry with the fizzler. So, you want to shoot a blue portal on the fizzler line. Like you can obviously see the fizzler line here, right? So, you want to shoot the fizzler, or shoot the portal at the fizzler, and while it's still in transit, you want to peek back out and go through the blue portal. Or, yeah, go through the blue... Go through the blue portal. So, so, just like that. And when you fall through this orange portal, you might bounce around it. You might bounce out of it a couple times. But what should happen is you hit the fizzler and you're on the end of chamber 7. Now, you have to actually walk out a bit to trigger the uh, elevator open. But then it should work. As it sh uh, then you are able to complete the level. Now chambers eight, nine, and ten are all inbound, so I'm just gonna go straight to chamber eleven. This one's actually a relatively simpler uh, chamber. It's kind of the same setup as bound. Oh, let's try that again. Get your you get the orange portal gun. Okay. Now, this part is different. Um, you shoot a blue portal here, and then you portal bump it and get the port orange portal out of bounds. But then you can just shoot wall or whatever like that, peek yourself out of bounds, and then shoot your blue or shoot either your or shoot your orange portal or your blue portal depending on how you have your setup. So it's not hitting this part here. You want it outside, like about here. So I shoot my orange portal and peek back out. Now once again, I do a, a fi you, I shoot it on the fizzer line. I go through it once more, get myself to trigger the elevator, and that's the level. I'm just going to straight go for the chamber 13. Now, this is the first uh, chamber where you have to set up a portal in this manner. What I'm doing is I have a blue portal as high as I can go, and an orange portal on the ground. Now, what I like to do here is when I, just when I go through the portal, I like to hold crouch. What that does, it gives me more time to shoot a portal in the end out of bound space. But if you're able to time it properly, you can just go through the top of the portal and shoot your pl blue portal right away, and you'll get it out of bounds. So this is what it would look like uh, if you get it done properly. Hopefully I get it in one go. It might take a couple of times for me to get it. And that's not what I, if I do it too slow, then that's what happens. It shoots the portal up there. So now my portal is out of bounds. If you shoot high enough, you don't you don't you can skip a, a certain step. You just shoot a blue portal over there. You see over there's but as high as you can go essentially would be nice. And then just peek back in bounds. Alright, so I'm gonna do a save here. There's two ways here uh, to do this next segment. Um the first segment involves or the first way of doing it involves using the fizzler to get yourself back in, which is which is easier than the second method, I feel at least. So you just shoot a blue portal down on the orange section over there and peek back in bounds. Now that you are in control of both portals, and then shoot a the fizzler line. If you become lightheaded from thirst, and peek back in really quick and fall through. And okay. will be dispatched to I gotta shoot it, I guess, a bit farther out, or farther inwards. As and that's the end of the, that's the one way of doing it.
The other way of doing this involves doing a portal re-entry uh, doing the same way as you do on Chamber 2. So I'm going to do another save here. It's a good thing I did. So once again, you have to go half. You go halfway through, or while you're, you shoot a portal while you go halfway through, and it destroys the portal and the you back in. If you don't get the timing properly, then it doesn't work properly. So yeah, this is why I prefer doing the other method, but that's because I'm not a, a really a so well practiced with this thing. You have to be like you, a good way to tell is when you make when you hear this sound. And there we go. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, uh, chamber fourteen is inbound, no so I will go straight to chamber fifteen. All right. So now chamber fifteen. So once again, you do the same thing you did in chamber thirteen. You fall through, and you place a portal out of bounds. So, the one setup I do is I, fall, I set the portal up exactly like I do in 13, and then I hold crouch when I just go through the portal, and I move my mouse to the right and place a portal. The enrichment center is committed to the well -being and just like that, I'm out of bounds. And grief now you want to move yourself out a little bit here. The conclusion of the test. Shoot a blue Thank portal or an orange portal, us, doesn't matter. Help you help us all. Uh, on that the area over there. And then you just do a simple shot of the portal on the fizzer line and peek yourself back it, uh, on the other side. Or if you get stuck, if you don't move in fast enough, just simply hold forward and orange. Well, if you got yourself high enough, if you shoot your portal high enough, you, you'll be able to just uh, hit the fizzler. But I've gotten myself stuck here, so I have to restart. The Enrichment Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you And I hit the fizzler, and I can just walk through since it also triggers the elevator door. Moving on to chamber 16, uh, you do the same similar you same setup to get yourself the portal bump in through here. Now this is the part where it becomes different. For this testing you shoot a portal up here, and what happens is it's a clipping glitch where the portal shoots through, or your portal goes like in the wall, as you can see. Now what you want to do here is you shoot an orange portal on this wall on the edge. Move that gun out of the way, and have yourself on the edge of that portal there. So now you just shoot your blue, you shoot another blue down here, and peek yourself back in. Shoot another blue over there and peek back in. Now I'm going to save here, because now you have to do a portal re-entry. If you do it properly, you'll end up underneath the elevator, so the best bet is to just jump once you're underneath the elevator and it'll trigger the elevator. And just place a portal down there, just before the next level loads. So now, this one I think is one of the hardest uh, things to do in the game, because you're dealing with no draw space over here. You can shoot a portal over up on the top left corner there, so it's touching the wall. This one might take a couple tries, and I might cut it if it takes too many tries when I upload this video. So what you want to do is you fall through the portal, and you look like you look up here, usually about halfway up the wall is fine, and then I th once you fall through the portal, you make a slight left or a smart a slight right, and shoot a portal quickly as soon as you go through the blue portal. So you shoot a blue portal once you go through that blue portal. So hopefully, let's, let's see if I get it the first try. 
Okay, I didn't get it the first try. The, you'll know that you'll get it is when you in the no draw space, you'll, either, you'll see a blue flash, and you'll also hear the sound of the portal disappearing from here. Okay, so I finally got it there. I guess a good way to set it up is you line up with this thing on the when you shoot the uh, blue portal there. Uh, once you have that portal over there, you can see it in the no draw space that it's right there. You can shoot and shoot the orange portal down here so you can actually see where you're going. Now, depending on where you, you've shot your portal, there's a couple ways. There's a couple things you could do. I'll just do a quick save here. The ultimate, the best portal placement is one where if you shoot the if you shoot on this. You can, you're able to shoot on this orange thing over there. That's This is the optimal place, or the optimal setup. So you would just simply shoot a blue portal here, peek back out. Alright, so maybe not this one particularly. Actually, you can even shoot a portal down there. If you're, if you're in this area here, you can shoot a portal or peek out. Yes, that works. And then you can simply just shoot a blue portal on the fissure line, peek out and go through. And that would be one way of doing it. Hmm. Okay, the second way of doing it, if you're not in an optimal place, you can shoot on this wall here and move out. And then if you get your portal low enough, you can shoot on that wall there, but I did not place my portal uh, low enough. In that case, I'm just going to hold forward and shoot my blue portal. Hmm, that's not what I wanted either. Okay, this is good. This is a good one here. So then I can just simply shoot a portal over on this wall here, peek a portal again, shoot a blue portal, and then you can do set that setup. It might take a couple more portals, but eventually your ultimate goal is to fizz your way back in. Now there's a few ways you can set this one up. The initial setup you have to do though is you shoot a blue portal on the left hand side and an orange portal on the ground. You fall through, make a move your portal gun slightly to the left and shoot on the wall when you're out of bounds. Something like that. If you get the proper setup here, you'll be on the op you'll be facing opposite of this wall. And then you can simply uh, shoot a blue portal there and move back and back. Alright, I'm going to do a save here because there is a couple ways to do this as well. The easier way that I feel is to shoot a blue portal on this area here and move back and bounds. And then go through the orange portal. And now you're able to walk on this ceiling here. And then you want to shoot a portal so that you're able to line it up with the fizzler. Something like that, I think. And then shoot an orange portal underneath you. And hit the fizzler. Activate the elevator. Get inside. If you go in the elevator before you activate it, you will be stuck and you'll have to restart from your last load. Now, the other way of doing this is a portal re-entry glitch. Like the same one that was used on Chamber 2. So you want to shoot it so that it's 
underneath the floor. And then you do the same thing like you did with Chamber 2. Uh, you get yourself half... While you're moving... And when you're halfway through this portal, you shoot on a portable surface. Let me set this up again, actually. Okay, that's this is a good one here. And then you trigger the elevator, and then that's it for chamber 18. Now here's where it's going to get interesting. I'm going to go, into, we're going to chamber 19 now. Once it loads, sometimes it does take a little while to load. Okay, so just like you did in chamber 18, and like you did on chambers 13 um, and 15. You shoot a blue portal on the wall on the far corner of this wall here so that it's at the top and you shoot an orange portal on the floor and you do the same thing like you did in the previous chamber. You follow through and you shoot a an, uh, portal out of bounds. If you set it properly, you'll, you should have a portal that's above the ceiling here. You just fall through. I'm just going to do a save here because this one is a bit precise. What I like to do to do this setup is I like crouch and I aim slightly in this black space here. If you shoot too high, you'll get, your, you'll get the portal in the wrong place. It should take like three, two to three seconds for the portal to reach its actual destination. Okay, that's this is good. So, once the, with the portal being there, I'm going to do an actual save again. Do the portal ahead of me. And then while I fall through this portal, I want to be holding back. Okay, so this is good. Now, what I do here is I shoot a portal on top of this ceiling here. Hmm. May maybe I gotta move myself a little bit farther. Okay, so if I shoot a blue portal there, and I shoot an orange portal below, I should be able to, I should trigger the load and that will get me to the next chamber. So, you'll notice right away that you can't move when you load. This is okay. Um, what you just do is you shoot a blue portal there and an orange portal underneath you and you pop yourself back and... Okay, now there's two ways to set this up. Um, one way you can how you can set yourself up is you can shoot a blue portal there, and an orange portal on this wall, and then a good setup here is you want to shoot your portal, or you want to have it so that your the bottom of your portal crosshair is inside the blue, something like this, and then you shoot your blue portal and move back and bounce. The way you have it set up is you want it set up like this, where you see this orange box here and then you would just walk through and uh, you'll see if you're actually able to walk in this area you keep move, keep the blue portal a bit low here so you can walk through it have the orange portal shop there and then go through Now, another way to set this up is you shoot the blue portal there and an orange portal underneath you. Let's try this again. Uh, 
and then you would do the same thing where you shoot you have your orange portal just inside yeah so just like that and then do the same thing over again then you once you go through the orange portal you trigger the load for the next level just put, shoot a portal ahead of you and then shoot your blue, shoot your orange portal on this like red part here and go through now there's one way of doing it where you re-enter through here but I don't really like doing that method I'm not really consistent with it so you can just move yourself around here shoot an orange or shoot a blue portal there and an orange portal on this wall and then shoot a blue portal on the ground and you'll fall through and load the next level all right you'll notice once again that you're stuck so just shoot a blue portal here and an orange portal underneath and you'll get unstuck. Now this one involves another re-entry. So you just shoot your portal anywhere up here, just so it gets underneath. Shoot an orange portal in front of you, on this pipe. We're gonna do a save, and you just do another portal re-entry. And if you do it properly, you end up in this room here, right in front of GLaDOS. Now, you don't want to go through this door right away. Because what you want to do is you want to grab a turret so that you can do the turret, so you can uh, kill Gladys like pretty fast. So just shoot like an orange or a blue portal, doesn't matter. Just go through and then. Okay, here's a good tip. If you get stuck up here like this, just shoot a portal underneath you. And you'll get unstuck in most good cases if there's a portable service underneath you. So now just shoot a blue portal here as far as you as far as you can on this wall and then shoot another blue portal and peek back inbounds. If you've done it properly you'll be on top of this uh, turret here. Just simply just walk through the wall. I got a bit stuck here so I just shot a portal there. What you want to do then is shoot a portal on top like that and then you want to do a portal re-entry once again or a portal destruction re-entry. So I'm just going to save and then as soon as I fall halfway through the port or when I'm about to fall halfway through the portal I just shoot. This does take time to get the timing down for it. And then what you want, what the end goal is, is you'll be, go inside with the turret room. Okay, so finally, I get inside. Now you want to grab the portal gun, or grab the turret. Place it so it's not falling over. If it falls over, then you're boned. Now, just shoot a portal so that it's ahead of, ahead of the turret gun. And then now you can go walk through this door, shoot an orange portal, and then... Have it so that it, yeah, I shot, I shot it in a good place. Just make sure this turret doesn't kill you, because if it does kill you, you're gonna have to, you're gonna lose a bit of time. Now you want, you see, you want all of these actual the cores to get shot off before you continue. Okay, so that's three. Just want the three shot off. There'll be one that stays there. Found me. 
Congratulations. So now you just finish off the rest of the game like normal. Despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't so And there you go. Uh, with those roots, you can finish the game, uh, in about, like, the fast- the world record right now is 9 minutes and 51 seconds without loads. That means the load times aren't accounted for the time. Uh, if you do this run properly the first time, uh, you can probably do, like, 12 minutes, or 12, 14 minutes. 15 minutes would be pretty respectable for a first time run, I think. My personal best right now is... 15 minutes, but I've only barely scratched the surface with uh, Out of Bounds. I'm just doing this tutorial uh, to teach the newer people, kind of like myself, uh, the most up-to-date Out of Bounds route. There might be some inaccuracies here, but it is a pretty good guide from what, I'm, what, I'm, what I believe. It is mostly up-to-date from my knowledge. And it does borrow from the world record run, so that's where I got the majority of my tips. I just slowed it down a bit, step by step, to uh, make it easier for you guys to understand. Um, if there's any questions, just leave a comment on the page and I will respond to you as soon as I can. So I'm just going to let the credits roll here and... I thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it helps you out with your out-of-bounds journey. Maybe one day you might be a new rep world record holder. You can you can experiment a bit too, if you like. Just uh, load up each of the levels and see if you find something faster. You might find something that might be faster than what I've shown here. And then you can probably improve your times a lot more. Hopefully I lay down a nice groundwork for you guys here. So thanks for watching and uh, you can catch me on my stream at twitch.tv slash papa underscore fog or you can and you can follow me on YouTube here. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction Aperture science We do what we must because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of and the science gets done and you make a neat plan for the people who are still alive. I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Even though you broke my heart and killed me, I'm torn Stay inside.